And the election is just 25 days away and the frenzy of campaigning continues. Former President Bill Clinton rallied for his wife in two cities in Ohio today. And today he returned to Cincinnati for the first time since Labor Day. We have live team coverage for today's event in Washington Park. And Jeanette Levy talked to those who turned out. But we begin with Jeff Hirsch, who has details on Bill Clinton's message to local voters. Jeff? Well, good evening. It was an economic message. Of course, I think most folks remember, if you're old enough to remember, the economy was pretty good when Bill Clinton was president. And when he left the White House, obviously he's not going to talk about uh, Monica Lewinsky. His message here today was, was one of economic progress and religious and racial inclusion. You got a choice. Anger or answers. You got a choice. Resentment or empowerment. The first President Clinton said a second President Clinton would mean more jobs along with tuition-free college for middle and lower income families. Bill Clinton said Donald Trump's economic plan favors rich people like Donald Trump. There was no specific mention of the recent allegations of sexual improprieties against Donald Trump. As for controversies involving Hillary Clinton, her private email server and leaks revealed by WikiLeaks, People in this crowd said those were not critical issues for them. She's got a better uh, economical program, you know, and she's uh, fighting for the minorities, you know, for women, blacks, all minorities, fighting for the Muslims. Are you more pro-Clinton, anti-Trump, or does it matter? Uh, you know what, at this point, uh, I'm definitely anti-Trump, considering uh, he's a huge fan of the whole uh, stop and frisk, which as an African-American man, I'm going to be honest with you, that scares me. you got a choice. Conflict or cooperation. And you got a choice looking around this, look around this crowd. Here's the copy of the Hamilton County Democratic ballot. It looks like the United Nations. Reference, of course, there to the uh, diversity that the Democrats are promoting in the campaign. Nationally, according to the average of polls by Real Clear Politics, Hillary Clinton is up 6.7 percent. In Ohio, that average is 1.6 percent. Of course, 1.6 percent is within the margin of error, so that basically makes it a dead heat in the critical swing state of Ohio. Live at Washington Park, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News, back to you. Jeff, I couldn't get a sense from the pictures. Were there a lot of people there today? I'd say about a thousand. I mean, it was a, a fenced off area. I'm guessing five or six hundred. And then there was a few hundred surrounding on the outskirts of the fenced in area. So the area itself was was crowded. It wasn't a huge area, but the area was basically crowded. Jeff Hurst, thanks very much. Newly released emails from WikiLeaks show Hillary Clinton's aides asked Bill Clinton to cancel a planned speech to a Wall Street investment firm. That was over concerns the Clintons might appear too cozy with Wall Street, just as Hillary Clinton was about to announce her campaign for president. 